I'll give you 500 for that trunk. I can't do that. What if I bought all six? Would you go 100? No. No. <laughs> I love that one with the flirty grass. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh -oh. I, I, not this not man. The, not, not, not these guys. <laughs> my wo my wife's what, got all the money. I can tell you one thing. I probably don't have what you want. Well, you might be surprised. Any old hats? Huh? Any old hats? I don't have any old hats. I have not. I've got a hat. I heard of Edward Scissorhands. Let me go. Let me go get it. And if you if you want it, you can have it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nobody asked for old hats. That's pretty cool. Oh man, that's killer. That's um, that's handmade. It looks like the stitches and stuff. Actually, you know, it's not that old because um, that UK logo uh, is one of the newer ones. Doesn't mean it won't sell. Worked for Edwards. It was a big sausage company, and they used to sell Edwards sausage. So you have it. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I ask you a question, ma'am? Sure. You selling that 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 glass vase bowl thing back there? That is a lampshade. Oh, is it a share? Are you selling that? I will. How ten, much? Ten dollars. It fits on like yeah. these old lamps. All right, how about the pair for 15? I'll do it. Sounds good to me, man. We brought a whole flock of early birds I for you, man. I am so glad. <laughs> All right, so we got the phone and the lampshade. Mm -hmm. $15 total. Mm -hmm. I have a $20 bill, unfortunately. Wake up the neighborhood, Tim. <laughs> it's time they were up. That's my thing. There you go. You let them know. Oh, this is cool. Thank you very much, ma'am. Well, yes, ma'am. Huh. Those aren't for sale. You see this? What, honey? Right there. What's he looking at? The tin can I, barrels. Yes, I'll tell you what. I, Tim, I, took I this out. I just them. I would like to sell all of That's them. Cool. I'm just very fascinated by this uh, chalkboard here. Yeah. It's real, really cute. How long have you had it? Um, I've had it a long time. I had an antique shop. And my house is full of antiques. So as I get older, I'm trying to clear out so that when my boys, when I die, come through, they'll say, oh, good, there's an empty drawer. There's an empty <laughs> shelf. Here's the two for this. OK. Thank you. Nothing on work, man. That's neat, though. But it, it, I think it's really cute. And it's, it does sit up good. Thank you very much, ma'am. You all have fun. Yes, ma'am. Good luck to you. You don't want those. Those aren't any good. <laughs> Cobra is not a good brand. I'm messing with you. Whew, 100. This looks like a Steve yard. So, Steve, you got to get up here, man. Grip seen better days. <laughs> Morning. Hey, morning. Where you going? Your drivers and fairway woods. Yeah, those right there. Anything you see in there is uh, thirty dollars. Thirty bucks. And I got a whole bunch of them in here. Open. Oh, I got all kinds of photos. Photos everywhere. Yeah. No, they're probably down to the door. Hell, they are everywhere. I'm gonna look in here. Okay. Yeah. You can look on both sides. $30. You got golf clubs everywhere. Holy cow. Yeah, on this side you can see them better. Hell, I don't know. I just I try to keep them more. It, it's been raining too so much. I yeah. Where do you get all these? 
Well, I've been uh, doing this 127 now for 15 years or more. No kidding. And I'll pick up more uh, during the year than I sell. Yeah. And then I, I, a lot of times I buy on the internet or anywhere. Huh. I just love food well. You know you're living your best life when you're buying golf clubs out of the back of the trunk. Good <laughs> um, good. Always good to sell. Yeah, let's just wing, let's just wing it really fast, you know. Uh, Don't really add them all up, though. <laughs> I'm gonna take five hundred dollars and you take it. That's Steve. Five hundred bucks. I'd have to take it on that. I'll give you five hundred for that trunk. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. You got a good eye. <laughs> <laughs> Any lefties in? Any lefties in here? No, no lefties in here. Okay. What do you got lefties? Oh yeah, I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah, lefties. You want a good set of left plugs? Yeah, we'll get it. You do? Yeah. Okay, I'll bring them out. I'll okay. Do. What's he asking individual on these, Steve? Yeah. What are you asking for each one of these? Are they all different, or are they all well, a couple bucks? All price is twenty-five dollars each. Oh. Okay. Any of these, oh, you know, any of these are going to get 20 to 30 for the yeah, new brands. Does, yeah. Like this right here, I bet you get 30 to 40 for the Fusion. Yeah. So you got to figure, uh, and if you can, if you can pull out 30, 35 or 40 of them. Name brand, you'll oh, be in good shape. Absolutely, I'd do that. Yeah, in I a think. Minute, dude. Yeah, I think you should. I said, I Five thought, I, I thought you were going to jump on this. Yeah, I'll do that. There's enough minute. name brands Go in ahead. here. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll get, buy I'll it. I'll do it. Well, I just want everybody to remember. You'll do all right. If you get, if you get 30, 35 to 40 of the, the name brand wedges, you'll be in good shape. Yeah. You kidding me? I mean, I've, I've seen These tons of thirty dollars. These are just six clubs. random irons. These are all yeah. like wedges, sand wedges. I mean, there's some borderline oh stuff that's hard. To there, some of the. Right here. I mean, well, it's a no, sand that'll, wedge. that's that'll a cobra. That's a twenty-five dollar club. Yeah, bad grip. I mean, I'm just trying to pull out bad ones. You're paying five bucks for these. I mean, these max flies, you're not going to be able to move on eBay, but you could take them to uh, play, it again. play it again. Play it again. There you go. Tell the rest on the uh, that's probably a forty or fifty dollar club yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> you can't hardly do that, I don't think. Yeah. I could take four though. Roll with it. I'll have room to put some myself. <laughs> <up. laughs> I'd have to have more than four for what I got in my hand though. <laughs> I got the red and nice white. Why don't you have You got any Scotty Cameron? Uh, no. no. That's the first thing everybody. Oh has. yeah. <laughs> you got any Scotty camera? Or a Scottsdale ping? <laughs> you ever found an original Scottsdale ping putter? Uh, no, I've been close. Have you? Uh, I got one in my bag. I play with. It's uh, real close. Can't do that. <laughs> Coming up, man. I know you're, you're almost there. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm just trying to get out there and find out what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just trying to get out there and find out what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just trying to get out there and find out of Raleigh, North Carolina, <laughs> Uncle Steve. Uh, <laughs> my wife is going to kill me. Oh, no, I see you. Yeah, I see you. Tell you to get a hole in one, bro. You're good. You don't got any beryllium copper sets, do you? Yeah. Do you? Uh huh. They ate in the back room somewhere? Yeah. That's the special clubs. Uh huh. See, a lot of them are. I'm, I'm probably missed one true. of the I group, but. You'd have to jack it on up there at about uh, seven, eighteen. For how many of those? If he throws in the brilliant copper, seventeen oh, or eighteen hundred. Yeah, seventeen hundred. I'll throw them in. I'll go get the brilliant. 
Yeah, you don't have so a seven iron. A lot of these are missing irons in them. Thank Ooh, you for bringing those out. Okay. Yeah. I don't get to see too many of those in person. You guys ever seen these? Yeah. Keep an eye out. My favorite one that to get, that two iron. Or Some of them will say BECU for beryllium copper. What makes these so special? Um, that and it's just a better uh, metal. And they're pretty rare. The two and you know, iron, the obvious reason. The two irons are the two irons and the wedges. Yeah. If you guys will find those by themselves. I don't think I can do that. In the copper for all of them. They're just they taking itself like 100 bucks. Where does that go for a set? Um, but it doesn't have the seven. Bad. But this like type of set is so sought after, you could sell individual and do pretty good. That's like cool. you could get probably close to 100 just for that. Wedge, huh? Yeah. So good. yeah. And, I mean, these, these two, you could get 150 easily, well, and then the rest of them, probably 40 bucks, 50 bucks a club. Typically, you don't want to do that individual iron because yeah, yeah, it's, it's going to take forever. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate you, sir. Good luck to you. Yeah, thank you. Right, thank you so up. much. You, I'll load this one up. You load that one up. Here, I'll help you. Okay. What do you have on that little percentage set? Did I, did I send you a picture already? Oh, I do. Okay. Yeah. Find some jarts, Kevin. What posters did you get? Booth. This is a Jesse James Coors poster. No kidding. One listed for sixty and nothing, no sold. So I don't know. It's just kind of cool. That is cool. What'd you right. pay for the jarts? Twenty bucks. Nice. <laughs> I don't you know what I'm gonna do. Right? I got a buddy who <laughs> wants. <something. laughs> Have some sparklers at the house tonight, you know? Oh, that's cool. Cards. The cards. Oh. Oh, I thought you were talking about your lot of glass. Oh. These are kind of fascinating. Oh, these are awesome. Whiskey labels? Oh, there's so many. Oh, these are killer. Right? They're all labeled, right? Are they unused? Probably. Old Faithful. Get out the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Same time. Those are uh, whiskey labels. Are they on like 25 cents a piece or six for a dollar? And we've got like thousands of them. What about a whole box? Um, my husband would have to. What about all the boxes? Well, that would be quite a bit of money for okay. all Now, are they all, they're all unused? They're all unused. We bought them at an, uh, Are they adhesive or is it like... They're so the old-fashioned the old where, where you could probably like, put water on them and then put them on the back, you know what I mean? Yeah. And we have put them in uh, like uh, picture frames and sold them as, you know, frame different ones. And that's kind of what we're doing, but we didn't want to... So they're all in bags, so like would you sell them like by the bag? Like, how much would a bag be? Well, we have to look at how many are each one of them. Gotcha. Yeah, we have to look. But yeah, he separated them all. If you can imagine, he separated them all into each one because they were just thrown into boxes. Thrown into boxes. Understood. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Check this out. Oh, the Wildcats. Oh yeah. That's cool. It's signed by the artist too. Numbered four out of thousand. What? Ma'am, what are you asking on this piece? I want twenty. Sold. I'll take it. Oh, not a good self through rate on any of them. Huh? Got a good self through no, rate. No, no, no. I mean, they're cool, don't get me wrong. Freak box spots. They got four roses posters from the 1940s. And oh, that's killer. Here. Are you good? I'm going to mount this on top of a. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it that yeah. vibrant color? The only problem is it's ripped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think if it's mounted on cardboard or even in a frame, it's going to. Yeah, it looks good. Supplies, no, okay. enough you wanted to. Yeah. What are you asking on the poster? Uh, this one's a hundred bucks. But he's got a handful. Yeah, yeah, more. Whoa. Yeah. 
John, this is what I was talking about, though. Oh, those are killer. Check this out. Tim Couch. No way. Yeah. That's cool. One was Dan Essel in there. John Calpari. Calpari. Yeah. Huh. Huh. That's neat. Huh. I went in and bought all those. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's two of them. We've got, we've got more. Oh, okay. Uh, just, got more. How many are there? Uh, I think six total. Six of them? Holy cow. <laughs> and they're all, they're uh, actually an original artwork. They're numbered and signed by yeah. the artist. So. That's really cool. What if I bought all six? Would you go 100? No. No. <laughs> that Do you have no, a? We already, uh, said, we already first said twenty-five. A so. plug that I can plug this in and see if it works. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It, it does. Sure. But you're welcome to do that. Sure. Thank right you. Right over there Thanks. on the table. Here's a cool one too. Oh, that's that is. That's a hundred dollars. Yeah, awesome. this is a hundred dollars. I think. It's all signed by everybody, yeah. including Adolph Ruff down there. Those are uh, those are facsimiles. I don't think those are real signatures. The artist is a real signature. Yeah. And I think the rest of them. See, see how you oh, notice? Yeah. Check this out. That's a signature. That's not a signature. That's a. Um, that that well, that's just like a stamper facsimile. And these look. This looks exactly like the other ones. Okay. Now that looks like it could be maybe. I don't know. It is very cool. Oh yeah. Fabulous five. Seven. Oh, that's cool. Olympics are hot. She said a hundred bucks. Yep. I owe you a hundred for the big one and twenty for the little one. Okay. How much are the empty bottles? Uh, Bruce, how much is the empty bottles? Oh. In the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bruce, I'm going to ask you. Bruce. I got it. <laughs> I owe you five, seven, nine, ten exactly. I love that one with the flirty dress. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank I'm you. going. Man, there's an old bus here. Out of your uh, glove. Um, left hand, right. Yeah, it is. It's old. Uh, Fifteen piece. Fifteen piece on. Day one of the Route 127 World's Longest Yard Sale is in the books, and I got a ton of stuff. I am absolutely thrilled with what I found. We'll start with this. This is a Kipling Sport uh, tennis racket bag. Uh, I paid two dollars for this. Very rare and not that many of them out there. Um, I had only found one. Uh, it was a blue one that sold for 90 bucks. Um, this one being red, I think will help the value a little bit. I'm gonna probably post it for $100 or best offer. Same sale as the uh, tennis racket bag, I found these gloves. This is a Wilson A550. Uh, that goes between 30 and 40. And this is a Rawlings uh, King Griffey Jr. model. It is a lefty. But with it being uh, Griffey Jr., it should st it'd still do pretty good. I'm thinking 30 to 40 on that one. I paid 22 for the pair. This was an awesome find. So this is a vintage Amtrak employee's uniform. I don't believe it is a conductor's uniform. I think this was uh, somebody that either worked the train, took the ticket, something like that. It doesn't really match up to a conductor's uniform, especially because the hat that went with it, if it was a conductor, it would say conductor uh, on this little badge. I paid 65 for the pair. These hats by themselves are going between 40 and 50, and I'm gonna list the uniform at 
150 your best offer there aren't very many of them out there but there are collectors for this stuff anything train related you're going to find buyers got some mr clean auto dry car washes these are new in the box some of the like soap and stuff might not be super effective but this is what people want they want this attachment right here to uh put on their hose at home i got two of them i paid ten dollars each and they're selling for thirty dollars plus shipping got some dolls at one sale um i was amazed when i looked up the prices of these so this one is the uh, Kentucky Derby Barbie. I paid five and it is going right around 100. The box is not in great condition. So I probably won't get that full 100, but still $5 I can't lose. Same with the condition on this box. Not great, uh, but it is sealed inside. I paid two for this one. This is a Three Musketeers one and this one's selling right around 80. This one I was completely shocked. I thought it was a Brad stall at first, but after a uh, closer inspection, I saw it's my scene joy bling keep an eye out for these because all of these sell for really good money even if they're not new in the package this one's so rare i can only find one active listing it's an auction starting at 150 and then i saw one or two sold listings that were um, from overseas and they went for around like 170 us dollars paid two for that i am absolutely thrilled with that find same sale as the dolls i got these cds uh 50 cents each both new in the plastic, uh, Lady Gaga and Sia. Um, Sia, I think, is going for about 10 to 12, but Lady Gaga is going for like 15 to 20. This wasn't a great buy. This is a coin dispenser. They have, People had these at the arcades that would work there. They'd um, like put them on their uh, belt loop, and if you need a change, they would uh, just give you change. They have like dimes, pennies, nickels, quarters, all that fun stuff. Um, I was thinking these were worth like 60 to 70. I was just kind of shooting from the hip. I didn't bother looking it up. Uh, but they're really only selling for about 30. I paid 15, so I'm not going to lose money, but not a great buy. The sale I got these was absolutely amazing. We were picking in bourbon country, and this house was a stone's throw away from the Four Roses Distillery. From their front yard, I could see the distillery. So they had been going to auctions buying all kinds of like bourbon memorabilia. Um, Steve bought like 12 bottles of bourbon from them. They just had all kinds of really cool stuff. We were there for a while just picking through everything, and they just kept pulling stuff out. I bought these two prints. Um, this one is by Linda Fox. It is signed by her and uh, numbered. It is 4 out of 1,000, and it's matted and framed and everything. I paid 20 for this. I can't find any comps whatsoever. I'm probably going to list that around 80 or best offer. She said she had six of them, and... <laughs> She didn't take my offer of 100 to buy all six, and I'm glad she didn't because I'm not sure how fast this will sell or if I'll even make much profit on it. So I'm happy with the one that I got. Now this piece right here is a different story. This is a very rare piece. He had, was thinking that it was signed by the players, but it's definitely not. Those are absolutely stamped facsimile signatures, but it is signed by the author, I'm sorry, the artist, artist proof, best wishes, James Wright. Very, very, very cool piece. There was one active listing for 600 and one sold that was like 300 and something and they took a best offer. Don't know what the best offer was, but I paid a hundred for this one. Um, I'll probably list it for like four or 450 your best offer or something like that but I think there's definitely money to be made on that one. If you've never been to the Route 127 sale, I highly recommend checking it out. It starts up in Michigan and goes all the way down to Alabama. It's 690 miles long. I'm sure you guys recognize some of the faces uh, that I was picking with. Kevin, Mike, Tim, we had a whole crew and we were all just having fun, hanging out, picking together. Nobody was really wanting to step on anybody's toes, but it really didn't matter because we were all just kind of like, one team picking together, like at the sale with the golf clubs, I knew it could be a good buy. I didn't particularly want to buy it, but I'm like, if somebody wants to make some money here, like there's potential. So we were kind of like digging around and everything. And eventually Steve's like, yeah, I should probably go ahead and buy these. So I'm anxious and excited to see what Steve gets for that stuff. I'm going to put a link down in my description to everyone's channel that you saw in this video. So please go check them out, subscribe, and uh, you'll be able to see a different point of view and like different things that they picked up over the uh, course of the 127 sale. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.